Commander Ashtas Sharon Planetary and Solar Update We see huge amount of ships entering the sun, large ships taking position throughout the system. Inverential peace my beloveds, I am Ashtas Sharon, I greet you with all my love, with much peace. Here I tell you, I know Emmanuel wanted an update on the current planetary situation and consequently the management and great input of energy being given to the system, especially the planet. There is a pretty strong, very intense flow of energies. Right now they are entering the solar system through our sun, many ships are entering. Motherships of great capacity, great power, strength, size. They are taking positions on what the solar system is. Mainly they are tackling proximity to the Sunday. When there are these total solar eclipses, portals open and negative forces sometimes take advantage to enter the solar system. They know that they are barred entry, not so much, but of these beings who have escaped this great justice on a planet level and are still looking for a way to enter the system. We're on the lookout for the entry of all ships of dark beings into this upcoming eclipse portal. We are deployed and very close to the sun. There is also a large contingent of ships circling the planet, in case they manage to open a portal not to the known. Because they have technology to do it, then they can open some portal and be able to enter. We are all, all attentive my beloved. Because we know that these powerful energies from the portal of this coming Monday, April 8th, brings quite a few influences to the solar system and planet Earth. These energies that accumulate during the eclipse are energies that will aid humanity in this process of ascension. They take advantage of these portals, these energies of these eclipses to help reactivate and remove ancient memories and to activate the crystal DNA in beings of light. That's why it's very important my beloved, that everyone is in the energies of the eclipse, prepared. Because this energy isn't just going to be felt on the day of the eclipse, days before you are already feeling the influx. Because remember that it's a process that's going to take place gradually. But its maximum will be full on the 8th. But from now on you're starting to feel all these little influences on the planet, but those little influences are of great strength. Pay attention everyone and everyone go to work harnessing these powerful energies for you to use in your own liberation and healing. We take care of monitoring and maintaining complete control of the system, so there are no surprises. We have already experienced that on other occasions and it has brought major consequences for the planet and the system in general. On the other hand, I also want to comment that the planetary situation is becoming more and more intense. You know everything everything is very moving is very. The earth is trembling, it is trembling, also product of all this solar activity that has been happening lately in our solar region, the sun. There has been great activity that significantly influences the electromagnetic fields of the planet and of human beings, and in general every living being that inhabits the planet, that influence by this influx of solar energy. The Earth's electromagnetic field has had great variations and quite remarkable ones too. Everything is very moving my beloved. We, on the other hand, continue with the work we started together with Master Saint Germain, Anchuak a work on the physical level on the earth plane. We had already given her that information, and also the beloved goddess Paulus Athena. Those negotiations have been very successful. Already with this great energy influx, many of these beings have clawed Icat and decided to retreat. They have already been given that information as well. But I want to confirm that those negotiations have been very successful. Soon the planet will be liberated from all dark energy. Han that you see and feel that you are still under oppression and control, everything indicates that we are going on the path to light, to new systems and to a new land well anchored in the universal laws of love and light. Mother Earth inside her is also very trembling. The crystal core of Mother Earth is aligning to the great energy that enters and both us at the extraterrestrial level and the terrestrial brothers and those on the surface are feeling and living, the onset of this great energy burst which since December 23rd has not ceased and will not cease my beloved. I know y'all will feel overwhelmed. You will feel the symptoms that these energies produce in the body. Because they are energies of very high frequency and vibrational and sometimes the body can't stand this continuous flow. That's why we recommend you beloved, to take a break. 
there is a lot of energy that goes into the body and the body needs to absorb. You also need to hydrate. Lots of hydration, lots of water so that this energy can flow and circulate properly through your bodies. Beloved, the Ashta command in full swing, the intergalactic command of love and light for free worlds and all underterrestrial brothers, we are attentive and alert. There are all the fleets of the system, we are watching. Our solar brothers are paying attention too. We are all at the forefront of watching, guarding the system throughout this process of the total solar eclipse, on the 8th. And will be after the eclipse, because all that energy stays there and will be a few more days, then we can retire and there could be another type of energy and frequency on the planet. I say goodbye my loved ones and know that I am always with you, that when I don't come, you already know, that you know. As you say in the plan, I'm full of work. I say goodbye, I hug you with all my heart. I am Commander Ashta Sharon. Winter peace my beloveds, blessings.